Okay, so this is the wind turbine that is mounted on the floating axle. And um, so just to give you an idea that it is floating, we've got this guy here, which is the, the axle. It has one point of contact at the top, just uh, going into that little little hole there. Now those things are held on in a pretty crummy way, just because I wanted to get this done before I go out of town today and to make sure it was working. And um, so now here is a fan pointing at it. And I'm just going to turn it on, very low, uh, on the lowest setting. It's got, it's got three settings. I'm not sure if you can see it there. But anyway, it's got three settings there. I'm going to put it on the lowest one, which is the furthest one. OK, that's the lowest one. Now this thing is immediately starting to move. Um, so I can barely feel the wind actually, but uh, this is moving, moving, moving. And as you can see, the axle, if you didn't know it was floating, you wouldn't know it was floating. Now one of the issues is that um, I had to put this thing pretty close to the top of the axle, because if you have it close to the bottom, then the torques can't well, the torques don't work out very well because you get, uh, you know, you don't have that big torque arm to work against with the, with the axle. So they're as high as they can be, um, and as close to the top as it can be. Now, obviously, this isn't trying it outdoors, um, but you know, I'm pretty confident that that's going to work. I just don't want to carry it out by myself. So it, maybe I'll try it later on today, but. Just so you can see, this is this is functional. And now the other thing is I can turn this up to a higher setting, and we'll see what happens. I think what'll happen now is that it'll get a little bit unstable because it'll hit a resonance, because it's only getting hit by wind on one side. But you can see that it definitely accelerates. Um, I probably don't have this thing aimed properly. Maybe if I put it just a little bit further to the side, it'll go a little faster. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not sure what type of um, what type of um, rotational speed this is supposed to have, um, but in any case, with a tiny little fan running in my lab and um, essentially a small stream of wind hitting it, this is what it does. My guess is that it's also got a lot of wind resistance on the backside. Okay, well, uh, and the axle looks like it's any other axle. You wouldn't know it's floating if you didn't know it was floating. I'll turn it back down. So, well, I'll turn it off.